This is the all new Ionic 5N and today I'm going to show you what it's like to drive it from a first person point of view. It's good looking, really fast, and has some features I've never seen before on any other car. The Ionic 5 has two electric motors producing 601 horsepower, which is impressive in its own right, but if we hop inside, you'll notice there's a button on the steering wheel that says NGB. If you click the Ngrin Boost button, you get 40 more horsepower for 10 seconds up to 641 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque. The result is 0 to 60 in a face-ripping 3.25 seconds. Now, a lot of times in EVs, the front area is reserved for a front trunk or frunk, but Hyundai has decided to put all of the electrical components that would be smashed into random bits in the interior in the front end because most people don't even use their front trunk. Hyundai did a fantastic job with the design language on the Ionic 5N. It's futuristic, it's aggressive, I love the LED daytime running lights, the lower portion of the front bumper looks like something off of a Lamborghini Urus. We've got functional air curtains on the side, as well as active grills for additional cooling. Now coming around to the side, 15.2 inch front brakes, four piston calipers, behind those 21 inch standard forged wheels. Those are wrapped with 275 millimeter Pirelli P0 tires that they spent two years developing with Pirelli and Hyundai. I also really love the flared fenders. It's two inches wider than the Ionic 5, we also have a really cool accented pinstripe down the side as well. At the rear, we've got this awesome deck lid spoiler coming down lower, those cool daytime running lights and LED taillights. We also have a massive aggressive rear diffuser and even kind of a checkered pattern for the reflectors on the rear of the car. The interior is where things get really cool. We've got these standard sport bucket seats that are actually heated and cooled, pretty rare for bucket seats, dual 12.3 inch displays. Coming in the rear, we've got this awesome micro suede texture. Look at the little details like this checkered flag on the door handle, the contrasted blue stitching. They did such a nice job with the interior of this vehicle. The steering wheel and infotainment are honestly works of art. Let's start off with the steering wheel. So on the top left, we've got our drive mode selector. So if we click that button, we can toggle between eco, normal, and sport mode. Now, if you're in the correct settings, which we'll talk more about in a bit, if you click on this button here, NGB, Ngrin Boost, that gives you the extra 40 horsepower for 10 seconds. Now down here, we've got customizable driving mode. So if we click this once, it brings up N mode. And if you click it again, it brings up N custom mode. Let's go over to the display here, swipe over, and we can customize everything from the motor response to the steering, suspension, electronic LSD, as well as the different sounds that this thing can emit. Now in any sound mode, it can actually make three different noises. Now, if we go into N race mode, this has two different presets in it, either endurance mode or sprint. So in endurance mode, if you think you're gonna be lapping the track for a longer period of time, this will limit power to 540 and it'll give you battery for longer. In sprint mode, it gives you that full 601 horsepower. And when you click this, it gives you the 641. If we come down to the center console area, we have wireless charging, USB-C ports. And then down here, check out how cool this is. When you push this button, that just swivels out for a sturdier cup holder. We also have some more charging here as well, as well as a parking camera. Look at that, behind the wheel of the Ionic 5N now, and I am shifting an electric vehicle using any shift. So this is actually simulating an eight speed dual clutch transmission using the motor regen. So it's using regenerative braking to break up that torque to simulate a shift. And there's actually a different torque curve for first gear, second gear, third gear, so that you actually have a different shift feel between fourth and fifth or second and third, etc. In the beginning, it takes a little bit to get used to, but once you take it out on the racetrack or a back road for a while, you almost forget you're driving an electric vehicle. They did such a good job with the calibration of any shift. It's actually downright amazing. This honestly is what electric cars need and we're missing, is some emotion, some soul, and having that shiftable eight-speed dual clutch in an electric car is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. But before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Tenet. 
Tenant offers fully customizable loan options for any EV make or model that automatically applies tax credits, instantly lowering your monthly payment. Tenant has a fully digital application so you can apply right from your couch. You can even add options while you apply like a home charger or insurance. There's even a special free charger offer at the end of this video saving you hundreds. Tenant has trusted EV experts that make EV financing fast and affordable. If you need help or want to talk to somebody, Tenant's customer service team is made of actual humans based in the US. Tenant customers can take advantage of auto pay discounts and the website is super easy to use, which is nice. So visit bit.ly slash vvtenant to check out Tenant and get a free rate quote today. You can also click the link in the description or scan the QR code. Tenant is even offering a free at-home charger if you add installation and use my link. You can also change the soundtrack as well. So we go to N Active Sound. We're in ignition mode right now that's kind of simulating a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. We can put it in evolution that's more of this futuristic noise. That's pretty cool. And then we even have supersonic, which simulates a fighter jet, which apparently gives a sonic boom on upshifts. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. And the engineers at Hyundai said, this isn't supposed to be serious. If it can put a smile on your face, it's a win. And honestly, a sonic boom in an electric car, that's pretty hilarious. Would I drive it in that mode often? No, not really. But ignition mode is pretty darn awesome. And yeah, it sounds a bit synthetic, but you get used to it and I think it's pretty cool because look, most gas cars have sound pumped in through speakers anyways. And they actually have two speakers on the outside of the car that project sound so that people around you can hear your electric vehicle making noise. And there are so many different modes to go through in this car, it's actually crazy. Okay, check this out. We can now activate N race mode and we can change it between sprint and endurance. So what's the difference there? In sprint mode, it's giving us that full power, that full 601 horsepower with the boost up to 641. In endurance mode, it's actually limiting the power to 540 horsepower so that you can spend more time on the track without running through your battery quickly, which is pretty cool. Now we also have N pedal. So N pedal is basically going to do pseudo two pedal driving where when I let off the accelerator, it's braking pretty intensely. Now I can use the paddles to change the N pedal level of regen. In N pedal three, when I let off, watch how fast it decelerates. That's actually really impressive. On the throttle and decelerating. So it allows you basically to one pedal drive or if you're auto crossing, it'll load weight onto those front tires to allow you to have more traction to turn in, which I think is a really, really cool thing. And then if you take it out of end pedal, you have regenerative braking that can be changed via the paddles as well. All right, so now we're gonna activate the N drift optimizer, which turns traction control fully off and gives this 100% rear wheel drive layout so you can actually drift, which I think is pretty damn cool. And then it uses stability control, the motors, the brakes, to allow you to hold a drift as long and as accurately as possible to make this an even more fun electric vehicle driving experience. And the cool part is it doesn't 100% decouple the front powertrain. The problem with that is, obviously, there is an electric motor at the front and the rear. If you have it only the electric motor in the rear, you're gonna essentially have half, or not quite half, the horsepower. And then when you're pulling out onto a straightaway, you're gonna want that extra horsepower. So this is able to detect slip angle and basically judge when you're finishing a drift in order to recouple the front portion of the drivetrain and pull you out of their drift with the full 601 or 641 horsepower, which is a pretty darn cool feature. This honestly has to be one of the most fun, if not the most fun to drive EVs on planet Earth. The driving dynamics are insane. The cornering ability is really impressive. Starting at $66,000, I think it's competitively priced as well. It's a little bit smaller 
and has a little bit less range than something like a Tesla Model Y Performance, but honestly, I think it's more fun to drive and it looks a heck of a lot cooler. At 221 miles of range, it's got an acceptable level of range, and the reason why it's not quite as good is they had to do so many things to make this more fun as a performance vehicle. The tires aren't all season tires that are made to get the best range possible. The front end has been optimized for cooling and it looks really awesome as opposed to having a super efficient coefficient of drag to make the range a little bit better. There's trade-offs, but I think 221 miles is enough. It charges from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes, which is really, really quick. And at your house with a 240 volt plug, it'll charge overnight in about seven hours. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.